animals aren't subjected to the heat of the day. This is called a Sherman live trap. It's a um, collapsible or foldable aluminum trap. And it has a, a door on this end that is uh, caught down with a little uh, bracket. In the back, there's a treadle. So when the animal enters the trap and puts weight on that treadle, it will um, snap the door closed. And generally, we used a um, molasses cob, which is just a rolled corn um, or oat mixture that you can buy in a, in a feed store. And that, that attracts the uh, rodents into the trap. Collecting the traps is simply a matter of walking the trap line. If a trap is sprung, the trap is picked up for later processing. Little guy. If the trap is empty, it is sprung so no animal can get caught in the heat of the day. Once all the traps have been gathered, the process begins. The first trick, getting the mouse out of the trap. We simply put a large Ziploc bag over the end of the trap, open the trap door, and then with some force, shake over and out, and the rodent goes into the bag, and then we can close the bag and remove the rodent from the bag in order to process it. And then we process these animals by collecting measurement data, weight, um, length ear. of tail, length of the ear, et cetera, to identify them to species. We mark these animals with some indelible ink uh, and clip their hair and um, sex them. Notice the mask and gloves? Hantavirus is a huge concern when handling any rodent. One of the concerns during this project is making sure that we practice uh, good safety precautions for both the rodents and for the handlers. And as part of that, we wear latex gloves at all times when we're handling these rodents. And we also utilize these masks, which are called N95 particulate respirators. The reason that we use these masks is that rodents can carry diseases such as hantavirus, which can cause very severe respiratory syndromes in humans. We have been catching three main species in these parks. Uh, one of the more common ones is called Neotoma albigula, which is the white-throated wood rat. And this wood rat has been uh, fairly abundant in these parks. Uh, this wood rat is a little bit more difficult to handle than some of the other species because of its larger size and they tend to bite more frequently. Uh, my favorite one to handle is the smallest species that we catch, which is the rock pocket mouse. And this one is extremely uh, passive to handle and we never have any bites from this rodent. It'll make them easy to recognize. Once the animals have been processed, they are taken to their capture site and released. Once we have finished processing the animal, we put it back in its trap, and then the traps are individually numbered, so we can take that animal back to the exact site where it was captured from and release it. The animal is generally not harmed in any way, and then on the following captures, we can look for the pen marks and see if this is an animal that we have captured previously or if it is a new capture. The information collected from this session, combined with data from other parts of the study, will allow the department to make intelligent recommendations to land use managers and property owners as to how to best design for open spaces to ensure wildlife populations.